I've been talking quite a lot on my channel about how we can be content with just what we have, even if it's not perfect and even if we want to change it, we still can take the changing process slowly, step by step and use things we already have for now with joy. And recently I caught myself with a little bit different thoughts. I wanted to film a minimalist pregnancy wardrobe video since I got pregnant and I thought that by that time, and I'm 37 weeks already, I would have a cute capsule wardrobe perfectly matching my bump, my taste, my mood and just all of that. And you know what guys, it didn't happen, I didn't buy almost anything for this pregnancy period, my wardrobe mostly consists of things that I've had before but that can fit me now in this stage of life, so it's a very small amount of pieces. And I can't say that they match with each other well, they don't. I've been putting off filming this video for like later and later and later because I really wanted my wardrobe to kind of be perfect, to look perfect, to fit me perfectly. Uh, I wanted to like it that much that I wanted to share, but it like it didn't happen. And now at 37 weeks pregnant, I realized that it will not be different because I definitely don't want to buy anything for just the last month of pregnancy. I kind of accepted uh, that fact that my wardrobe doesn't look the way I thought it would look at this time. And I wanted to film this video anyway, so why not to film it? Why not to show you what I've been wearing for the past uh, several months? And I've worked with my attitude a little bit and I told myself, Vika, it's working for you, you are wearing it, you wanted to share, then share. <laughs> I think the changing process in everything takes time and effort and money. So for example, for the past several months, I've been so busy with different stuff that I just didn't have any energy or desire to focus on my wardrobe also. And I've been wearing what works for me. And I think that's okay. Like this, this happens. Not always you, you have the energy and um, options to, you know, change everything around you quickly. So yeah, let me show you what I've been wearing for the past several months. I have one pair of shoes which are quite worn out, quite converse shoes. Technically, I have a couple other pairs of shoes, but I have been wearing these only every single day since probably February. Uh, they are the most easy to put on ones and they fit with everything, so probably I'll just wear them till they tear apart completely. I did that when I was a teenager, I was also wearing white converse all the time, so I'm quite used to that. I have three different dresses. This one is a warm one for colder weather and I've been wearing it in spring mostly because now it's too hot for it. Um, it's not the most comfortable one, but I think it's quite a nice dress. This one is a very light summer dress and it makes me look like a giant marshmallow. The cotton material is very thin and it's a little bit see-through, which I'm not comfortable with. So I usually put on my silk pyjama set underneath every time I'm wearing it, just in case to be more comfortable emotionally. <laughs> This dress I bought just recently because it's more comfortable for everyday wearing, uh, both outside and at home. Also, it's a cotton one, so it's a very light one, and it goes well with black or white t-shirts that they have. I usually don't wear it without a t-shirt, but technically it's also possible. Then I have this thrifted jumpsuit and I've been living in it in May and June but now uh, the bump became bigger and it doesn't feel well anymore unfortunately. It's hard for me to put it on. So in May and June I've been wearing it just as it is or also with a black t-shirt on top as like t-shirts and pants set. I liked it a lot.
when it comes to bottoms, it's a little bit of a problem because I wanted to buy my turn to leggings or bike shorts and I didn't do that. So I have some home shorts that I need to throw away actually because of how old and worn out they are. But these are shorts with very loose ribbons. So they are the only ones I feel comfortable in at the moment. And I haven't been able to find any similar shorts that would be as comfortable. So I keep these and wear these for now. I've been wearing them when I was pregnant with Agatha too, so they're quite long-lasting shorts. Then I have two thrifted skirts. I'm not a big fan of them because of synthetic materials and it's hot for them in summer, but they look quite cute with my cropped black and white t-shirts. I've been wearing them mostly around the house as a homeware, but technically I also can wear them outside anywhere I want. I have a funny thrifted t-shirt with sporty ladies too that matches with shorts and it's also my part of my home clothes. And when it comes to basic t-shirts, I have two black ones and two white ones, but I can't wear white almost at all because I always put stains on everything. I've been wearing my white t-shirts just a little bit and they already don't look good and black ones that I've been wearing non-stop still look like new. I used to have a couple more t-shirts and a sweatshirt but I threw them away recently because they were too worn out and I just didn't like them much. Summers in Georgia are quite hot so I didn't have a need in warm clothes but just in case I thrifted this white jacket Unfortunately, didn't have a chance to wear it yet, but maybe I'll wear it in autumn when it gets colder. So these are all the pieces I've been wearing for the past several months. And under videos like that, sometimes people misunderstand my point a little bit and they offer to send me clothes or they feel sad for me for some reason and I can buy clothes if I need, uh, that's not the problem. And my point is not about that at all. My point is that sometimes you are just busy with your life and you like clothes are not a priority for you at the moment or you just don't want to buy anything or maybe you can find something you need. And that's okay to have small amount of things uh, if they work for you. It's okay to have not perfect things if they work for you. And that's why I still share my wardrobe, even when it's not inspiring me <laughs> or doesn't look perfect for me or doesn't fit me perfectly. That's just what I've been wearing, like real life content. So I feel that sometimes we get upset seeing that other people have like better pieces or like they have capsule wardrobes that perfectly match. And we get upset that we don't have something like that and we are waiting you know for that moment when we'll change everything and we'll buy everything new and just our wardrobe will will be great but i feel that clothes are not that important to have this negative feelings to kind of worry about them that much so um yeah that's my point <laughs> uh, and i hope that it was interesting for you to see all of the pieces i've been wearing for the past several months with my growing uh, belly and I hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye bye!